Uh, I mean, they reached out to my to my business partner, and I uh, looked into them and figured out that they're up and coming, they're growing. Um, I just want to be a part of it. Uh, obviously, it was, a, it was an opportunity there for me, and I just wanted to take advantage of it and help the company grow, help my brand grow, and just grow with them. It's just when you look at you've been out there a lot of teams, but once the, once the local area starts connecting with the athletes, so how much is that really showing how to have folks out there? It shows a lot. I mean, that, and that's one thing I, I want to do is just continue to grow my, my local brand here. So, so give back to it whenever I can and uh, grow my businesses whenever I can. But obviously, when you got that connection with off the court and the, the fans and uh, community and businesses, uh, you want to take advantage of it and you want to continue to grow as a person and as a ba basketball player. So I just feel like the opportunity was there and I just want to grow with them. The reason I ask is because Payne has one with the gaming company, obviously Devin is. Oh, that comes with winning too. That okay, comes with winning. What I'm <laughs> you gotta win too to get the, <laughs> to get some off the court deals and stuff. But yeah, that's just fruits of our labor. That's just putting in work. Obviously on the court, you get opportunities off the court and it just comes with winning. That's what winning brings. Jay, when you watched it back, how did you assess the way you defended Ingram in game one? Uh I gave him a few. The M1 is really st one sticks out to me. Um I'll talk about being the second jumper. Obviously, I know he has a good pump fake on him. I just want to take that play back. But other than that, I just want to make sure he felt me all game. I just want to make sure he felt not only me, but all of us. Whoever gets a switch on him, he just has to feel you. When it's a free flowing game, uh, he's a, he's a, he, he can he can put some uh, put real pressure on your defense. So I just want to make sure he feels me from start to finish. And obviously, he's a great player and he has our respect. Uh, but I just want to make sure the message is sent to where he feels it. With a guy like him, I was curious at what point in your career you reached the point where you realized, like, I can do everything defensively, the shot might still go in, and that's okay. And then I did my job. Uh, uh, yeah, it that. took me about like three years in. Kobe Bryant blessed me one time. I was guarding him for a full, full game, and he just, I felt like I was playing great defense. He made some great shots, and I just felt like that's part of the NBA. Uh, but you want to make it as tough as possible. And maybe fourth quarter, you don't make those shots if I make it tough for him in the first, first and second quarter. So that's my mindset. Jay, you made it in the history of uh, that one, just the first point with a part two for one. Yeah, one point, yeah. my teammates told me. Right? <laughs> one rebound, one assist, one block. So when do you know when the shot is off and say, you know what, I can't? It's not falling, so I'm going to switch this. I mean, I only took four shots. I wasn't really worried about the shots. I, offense, we, we get whatever we want offensively. We feel like we can get whatever we want as long as we play together and play the right way. I was pretty much focused on Brandon Ingram and CJ McCollum, honestly. Uh, obviously, I just want to set the tone of how the series is going to be played. On the defensive end, that was my main focus. But obviously, we came out with a win, so that's all that matters. And those, those guys shot 30% from the field. So uh, I just want to continue to make it tough, continue to put my mark on the game, whether, whether it be scoring, rebounding, or defending. So uh, I'm, 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 I'm just a team player. What do you guys got to do differently on the rebounding game? Not a lot of that. Uh, I just met mano y mano. It just comes down to just make sure your man doesn't uh, get the board. Just checking. You got to check. Every time, check. When I say check, I mean when the ball goes up in the air, you have to check and see if your man is going. You just can't look blindly and look at the ball and try to go get it. So these guys do a great job of just offense rebounding and going after the ball. So you got to check. You got to, you got to, you got to check. You got to make sure your man is not going. And if he does go, you got to put a good box out on him. So it's a mentality more than anything. Talking to Buck the other night, he was talking about the defensive end of pigeon. Where did that term come about? What is that? I've heard two different terms. That's just the NBA term. You either say duck or you say pigeon. If there's a duck out there on the court, it's the guy you want to attack. If the pigeon, same thing. I just it's just terminology of NBA. Just like we call the break at the um, um three-point line, the the, the the titty, excuse my language, but we just it's just the NBA talk. I don't know where it comes from. I don't know where this lingo comes from, but pigeon and duck is the same thing. Just a guy we feel like you can attack defensively. So it's just been around for a while. Yeah, more than longer than I've been in the NBA. That's that's crazy. With the time you've had to play with Chris now, do you both start to have the gears turning on like that specific moment where you guys want to keep attacking the same thing? Yeah, I mean, we have defensive set for 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 things like that, and obviously, um, once you run the same play three times in a row, we got to give a different look. I um, mean, I just guys on the court have been on the same page and communicating that action, communicating what we want to do to take to take guys out. We did a poor job of that. Ended the game, uh, game one in the fourth quarter. We did a poor job of just letting those guys run the same play over and over, giving them the same look. So tonight we'll be more prepared for that moment. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. See you all in a bit.